The field of cardiac electrophysiology is uh, perhaps one of the most important areas of cardiovascular medicine simply because uh, electrophysiologists deal with two major problems that have major societal impacts. It's estimated somewhere between 10 to 12 million people die suddenly every year and we treat patients to prevent sudden death. Our vision is simply stated, it's twofold, to do the absolute best for the patient who's in front of us, but also take care of patients we never get to see. And the way we take care of patients we never get to see is by teaching, by research, and by medical innovations. At UCLA, we try to stay at the forefront of technology. Uh, this field changes all the time, and we want to make sure that we have the latest uh, options uh, for our patients. So, as an example, uh, we offer a wide range of mapping solutions for the ablation. Uh, all of the uh, popular mapping systems we offer here at UCLA. Uh, we also have some of the newer technologies for delivering the energy, such as the cryo-balloon catheter. And uh, for stroke prevention, uh, we've begun doing the Watchman procedure, which is to close the left atrial appendage. We do lead extractions uh, and uh, epicardial and hybrid cases to treat arrhythmias. Well, for atrial fibrillation, uh, my approach uh, to seeing a patient who's newly diagnosed is to first make sure that they understand their disease. So we spend a lot of time in the office with nurse practitioners and myself educating the patient so that they understand about the arrhythmia. I would say that the nurse practitioners that we have on our team serve a very important role. Uh, Shiv says that they're the glue that keeps the team together. We are consulted, uh, work with the physicians to design the best plan of care for our patients. Because our patients are very complex, we coordinate with several of our teams, the cardiomyopathy team, cardiothoracic surgery, internal medicine, to be able to coordinate care. As far as patient examples, I mean, we, we see so many sick patients and um, I can think of numerous examples. One example is a patient that I just saw recently back in clinic who came to us actually from another state, uh, had incessant ventricular tachycardia, was told by his physicians there that he should go on hospice, that there was nothing else that could be done. His family actually asked that he be transferred to us. We took him to the cath lab, had a successful VT ablation. His ejection fraction has improved to almost normal, and he went from being on home hospice, potentially, to visiting me a couple times a year. I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist, so I participate in all areas of managing patients with cardiac arrhythmias. We started uh, the lead extraction program here about 15 years ago uh, with myself and Dr. Shiv Kumar in collaboration with the cardiac surgeons. And um, we have developed a program where, which we're really proud of, removing leads that have been in there for as many as 20 years and using the laser to try and extract these leads. I am responsible for overseeing many of our clinical um, patient studies as well as human mechanistic studies. And I also have the opportunity to oversee and design many of our translational research studies, including those involving small and large animal models. We know that many of the therapies that have been developed for heart failure have also been um, used to target arrhythmias, which tells us that those therapies that are targeting the autonomic nervous system are perhaps key to being able to treat patients better. We have um, a ACGME accredited fellowship program, which currently has three fellows. We have an international fellowship program where we have visiting fellows from all over the world. I chose the UCLA uh, Cardiac Arrhythmia Center um, because I wanted to gain more further experience um, before embarking on a consultant job in the UK. I had developed a, an interest in ventricular tachycardia mapping and ablation, uh, which was part of my research, and, and I wanted to develop that interest further by coming to the UCLA Cardiac Arrhythmia Centre, who are uh, a world-renowned centre of excellence, both clinically and in the research field. In many ways, electrophysiology is the perfect synthesis of complex interventions, directly observing great patient outcomes, but also has the highest level of scientific um, questions and sophistication. It's an area that brings many fields and many areas of expertise under one umbrella. Uh, it's a great privilege to be at an academic medical center.